Here's a 3D printed coffee filter air cooler. It works by evaporating the water, that way cooling the air. This sped up footage was recorded during the night. You can choose between two designs, a single cube that prints without supports, or a cube that you assemble from four pieces by zip tying them together. Whichever design you choose, the procedure is more or less the same. You will also need a 120 mm computer fan or fans depending on how much cooling you want. You can also find these in USB version if you prefer. Here I have a box of size 4 coffee filters. I filled the box with filters with a narrow side facing the fan. To keep the things simple, I just staple them together. And here I'm using another filter with a side cut opened to feed the water to two filters. Next step is attach the fan of your choice. In my case it's a 12 volt 3000 rpm computer fan. I use zip ties to attach the fan, but you can use screws if you want. Most of my fans and fan power supplies use these connectors cause I like them. If you chose a USB powered fan then you don't need to do any wiring at all. Just plug it in. Big chunks of ice and a container that fills a few liters of water is what you want. In my case the bucket is bigger than the box, that's why I cut a hole in the lid to support it. I keep a spray bottle in the fridge to wet the filters when needed. Or you can just wait until they absorb the water on their own. Here's a 15 minute time lapse. Connect the power supply and chill. A single fan air cooler is great to keep on your desk to blow the air on your face. But if you want a cooler that can actually cool the room, you will want to use at least three fans. Here's an air cooler I've been using for last two years. The water container is a long flower pot. You can see it's been used because the staples have become rusty. In my previous location I could bring down the temperature by around 2 degrees Celsius by only using this flower pot water cooler. This is my first summer in this new apartment and I haven't finished optimizing my fan setup. More on that in a second. At the moment by using only the triple fan cooler I can bring down the temperature by 1 degree Celsius. Might not sound like a lot but it's not always what thermometer says, it's about the way the room feels. You can definitely tell the difference when you come from a different room. I will probably make another triple fan cooler and see if I can bring the temperature down even more. There's one more thing to keep in mind. Evaporative coolers are also humidifiers. For best results you should have a window fan blowing the air out. If you close the doors and windows while running evaporative cooler, the humidity levels will go up and it's not gonna feel very nice in the room. Evaporative coolers work best in dry environments. I live in Spain and here it works pretty good. If you live in an environment that's more humid, it might not work as good.